Robert Art. We are doing a study of purple today. I mixed up like 14, 16, I don't know how many purples. We're gonna have fun with them. I'm gonna show you them up close. Uh, and then I'm gonna do like a bloom with probably almost all of these. We got some sparkles, we got some tubies. So stay tuned. Let's see if it fills your purple dreams. Okay, let's get into it. You can see there's quite an array here. Um, let's start at the top. I have in my big haul, I got um, a few weeks ago from Jackson Art from Europe. I got these Schminky Prime Acryl paints. They're pretty good. I like them. They're soft and like thinner, a lot like Joe Sonia. This color is Blue Violet. I think it's quite a lovely color. Let's see if I can fix the light in here. Mm, worse, better or worse? Okay. Um, now, yeah, there we go. Maybe this is better here. I'm gonna put it on this. I'm gonna put them all on this like round canvas so we can see. So this was blue. Violet, all right? Mm. So I have like really intense lights, but sometimes they're too much for us. I want you to see like the true light color. Okay, cool. Now let's go to Schminky Transparent Violet. It's a little darker, still a good consistency. I'm just gonna schmooze it right on. It's a nice, it's a cool, cooler type of purple. Which one? I'll do a close up of these after. Okay, now we have Old Holland Cobalt Violet Light Extra. This is the tube. Okay, and let's smudge it right on. I like smudging this way, it's fun. Okay. It's like a purple fest. Okay. Then we have Old Holland. I'm really enjoying this color. Um, violet gray. So <laughs> I know this is like a lot of purple, but like, would it be kind of interesting to have them all in one piece or is it crazy? I don't know. All right. Now, uh, I'm gonna skip this one because it's a picky. I'll wait till the end. This is Triart Violet Dioxazine. Um, not bad. It's a little lighter than uh, Golden's Diox Purple. A little less intense. I think a little more cool, like a little more blue. Okay, it is dark, quite dark though, isn't it? And then we're gonna have the Triart Brilliant Purple. All right, we'll schmooze that on. I hope I have enough room, oops, for schmoozes. Okay, Brilliant. I made a little mistake there, but maybe it's artistic. Okay, then this one doesn't really fit, but I mixed it because it was violet. It's the Triart Quinacridone Violet. I know it's quite pink, but I'm right, gonna go this way so we're not so dirty. I love doing these paint swatches. I think it's like such a good comparison. Okay. Then I have, now this one, gave me problems. So I mixed these colors up on the Shelly Art group live yesterday. And what I noticed about this one is I had to put three times the amount of paint to even get a dark color and it wasn't even, it didn't even match. So this in particular, the Ultramarine Violet, um, isn't very pigmented and I had to use a lot and it made it thick and gloopy. So I even wrote on the back, bad. <laughs> Now I love tri art, so I and luckily the other colors didn't do that. But just a note, I wasn't super impressed 
with their ultramarine violet. So here it is. Anyways, it's not a bad color, but it's definitely not as dark as um, their swatch. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go to, oh, one more. So on the live, Mandy Roca from Hope Designs, she said one of her favorite colors to mix is Australian Red Violet and Indigo. Now I've mixed in my last vi couple videos ago, I did actually Australian Red Violet and Payne's Gray and it was lovely. However, I didn't have Indigo, but I did have Anthroquinone Blue and it made a really pretty purple, which you can't see right now, but it's a lot cooler in color. No, sorry, it's a lot warmer in color then that violet, Diox Violet, I'm going to put it right here at the end. I really like this color. It's nice and warm if you're looking for a warm purple. Um, I'll lift this light up here. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's really nice. All right. In terms of piggies, one of my old time faves. TLP Constellation. It's a bluish purple. I'm gonna put right here. Oh, if you hear the seagulls at my beach. Okay, Constellation. Um, then I have one another one of my favorites. Um, enchantment, really pretty. More of a pinky purple. I'm gonna put her at this end over here. Look at these pretty swatches. So I think so far what I'm looking at, I'm definitely gonna take away the quinacridone. Violet. Here, is that enchantment? Okay. And then we have Agapanthus, which I also love. This one's a cooler purple, more of a silvery purple. I don't want to waste too much. I'll drag it down here. So let's see if I, we can capture. Really nice. Okay. And Pinwheel, which looks... Uh, purpley, but it shifts to blue. There's a blue shift to it. I don't know if I'll be able to capture it on this light. We'll see. Let's see here. Right at the end. Uh, you can kind of see it, right? You can kind of see that blue shift. And finally, one of my faves, their interference, which goes from violet to blue which is Twinkle. Now I'm gonna put it over, hmm. I'll just put it right beside Constellation here and maybe you'll be able to see the shift because it's over something a little darker. We'll see. Twinkle, hmm, you can't really see, can you? All right, well, here you have the colors mixed up. Um, so I hope I'm gonna probably eliminate a few of them, but I just wanted to show you everything I mixed up. And let's see what happens. Be right back. Okay, so just so you know, I've cut out a lot of tubes and I'm only using five tubes, five piggies. So I'm using all the piggies I mixed up, which is the Pinwheel, the um, Enchantment, the Constellation, the Agapanthus and Twilight. Now for the tubes, I decided to use the Holland Gray, um, the Cobalt, Violet Extra Light, I'll move this out of the way, um, the Custom uh, Australian Red Violet and Blue that I made, and the Blue Violet, which is this one, and the Brilliant, try our Brilliant Purple. So that's what we're using. Okay, I have a 12 incher. I don't have any of my um, 
measure it in like big measuring cups left. So we're just going to pour it right out of here. Now I don't want to put too much. Like, do I want to cover? I don't know what I'm doing yet. So, all right. So that should be good. It does spread quite a bit. Let me just place her over here. And I'll be using white cell activator today, by the way. Yep, I think that's enough. And whatever. Okay. So here we are. What am I doing? I um I'm gonna go like medium purple light color dark color okay so let us start hmm yeah why don't we start with this like the more pinkish one which is that brilliant purple i hope the color is okay okay and i'm gonna do like a pinwheel kind of okay i don't know why but it's kind of fun I've never done one actually. On top of that, why don't I just put this pinwheel um, right on top? Okay. Next, okay, so I use that color. Let's go to this brilliant. Oh, this one really thickened up on me because I mixed them yesterday, and sometimes you've just got to adjust if you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can. The lighting here bothers me all the time. So I'm just going to add some Josonia to this. Okay. One moment, please. Or else it will just be very difficult to blow out if it's way too thick. So I just added a squirt. That's why I always say measurements don't matter. You've got to know what you're looking for here. Okay. We're going this way with the paint. Okay, and on top of that, I'll put another piggy. Why not, right? Um, that's a lot of paint. Um, I would do hmm, enchantment. Let's see. Okay. Enchantment. Do do do. Just like that. All right. Now I will go light color ish. And I will do, hmm, I'm gonna put our pinwheel this way. Not too much, because this is opaque, by the way. So we'll just go like this, okay? Now, on top of that, what am I do? Agapanthus. Oops, sure is gloopity, gloopity today. All right. Now, I will do, I'm going to top it with the custom color I made. I'll call it Mandy's color. I'm going to top it with Mandy's color. So this is the second last tubey. And I'm going to put two more piggies. All right. So we got this. It's quite a big surface to blow. Um, I'm going to put, like, Definitely my twinkle will look nice. This one I should probably, if I had a hair dryer, I might do it, but whatever. Because there seems like a lot of paint. But I don't have a hair dryer. And I can blow. And I'll put a little bit of this constellation. Which also got very thick. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a problem blowing for sure. Okay. I don't know what. So in this room where I'm painting is there's no air conditioning. It's totally hot. So I moved my paints into my um, house, which is air conditioning, but maybe it, they like, they're like, oh my God, am I hot or am I cold? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to top it off with Mandy's color and then I'm going to try to blow it out. It's going to be really thick, but whatever, right? We're just covering it with some piggies here and there, you know? Goodness gracious, is this gonna work? I don't know. Okay, that is it. That's quite a bit of paint for a 12 incher. This is though, I mean, it's fine. I'm not panicking about it. 
just saying I went a little overboard as usual definitely not gonna be able to like who knows what there's gonna be a lot of like unblown paint I'm assuming so let's see if I'm right you ready oops I did pretty good, right? I mean, oh, I dipped my thing into paint, but not so shabs. There is like, you know, the outline that I said would happen, but while that's coming back together, I'm gonna take a skewer and like just move things about as I do cute though I think could be right now like these uh, it wasn't as thick as I thought which was good I'm glad I thinned out those paints you know what I mean doobly -de do I don't like those edges doobly -de do that's my new saying this will probably come off I'm not sure but I don't like what's happening do -de do do I don't want too many doobly doos, just a few doobly doos, because I don't want it to be so doobly dooey. Okay, doobly do, and we have here a bit of a doobly do. Okay, definitely a doobly do here. Okay, and of course. Well, there's a few more doobly doos, then we'll be done. Okay. And the final one. All right. I think we're okay. Like, mm, oh, I'm getting too picky, of course, as I do. Okay, as I doobly do. -de -do. <laughs> okay, let's get these edges off. I'm gonna spinner. And then we're gonna see what happens. Ooh. Okay. Still some paint left. Not so shabs. I'll show you in the light. It would be nice to have some negative space, but I might have to keep spinning. Oh, let's see. I still got some paint left, but I don't know. Cute little 12 inch. I mean, like nothing crazy, but um, I'm curious to see in the light how the color layering. It's kind of cool. Like, there's some cool effects, you know? cool effects especially if you like perps yeah all right I mean I'm not mad at her um I'm gonna go do a close-up for you in the fun light but I think she's okay what do you think of the purples um should I keep going with the purples next time I'll add some like complimentary colors but I just wanted to do a full purple study so if you like this video the like if you haven't subscribed please do so and let me know what you think of my purple study maybe I'll do a study of other colors too what color study should I do blue would be easy for me green would be difficult red absolutely horrid but you guys let me know bye